is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, just when you look, look yeah. yeah. The way you got that dressed up. And I'll tell you, it may look like an aquarium. I knew, he, I knew Dooley was going to put music or put uh, sound effects on that. Oh, I love that's it. That's the only thing that's missing. Let's get missing. some ambiance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we did is we took some acrylic picture frames, okay? Right. And then we repurposed them. And we joined them to make a box. So, you know, those at home may have this already. And then we bonded it together. We put a nice background paper, mod podged it, so it looks like water. And then we put some volcanic lava rock, which looks heavy, but yeah. it's really lightweight. Right, right. So it's not going to break the acrylic. And then some really fun little lights that are battery operated. Sand, can you see this little cavern in here? A little cave, a little cave. under it the looks sea? It like an aquarium. Yeah, they're shells, yeah. but here's the thing. The plants are all succulents, and they are gonna do really well here, and it's low care, it's okay. decorative. I, I, look, I know, that it's, I know that it's not a real aquarium, yep. but there's plants in it that need to be watered. Right. So is it watertight? Like, you have to make this so it doesn't leak? It is not watertight, no. It if, is it, not. if it was, this project would have gone from like DIY to very hard DIY, <laughs> yeah. HDIY. That's true. Yes, but this was actually very simple to build, and the epoxy that we used binds it, but does not keep it waterproof. Right. So okay. we wanted to make it easy for folks at home. Okay. And it well, was. It yeah. Was, it and was uh, we okay. made this one in the morning. Show us how you yeah. do it. Yeah. Let's, Let's take a look at that. Yeah, we started out, like Shirley said, we just have these acrylic frames that you can get at any frame store. So it's not like you're reinventing the wheel there. Yep. And that is one of those craft papers that you can put in a scrap box to uh -huh. make it look like it's under the sea. Yep. I like that music too, it's kind of yeah. under the sea. What? And this under special the... epoxy, you can get it at your local hardware store. What it actually does, is it not only binds, because I was thinking at first, maybe we could use hot glue, you can't. For Plexi, you actually need to burn it in, which is what this epoxy does, and it burns it to itself. Shirley's helping me hold it into place and taping it into place because after we walk away from this, we need to let it set up for about an hour. So we're taping it into place. Okay, so you, this is a two-person job. It well, helps. It yeah. helps when you have a friend, okay. yes. Right. For sanity, I would say it's a two-person job. Mm -hmm. So that was the exterior box. Now what we're doing is getting ready to put the base on it. So what we're looking at is upside down. So this is the base, it's, it's still in another acrylic frame. Mm -hmm. We set it on top, let it bind, and then these cute little things, these are also you can find at your local frame yeah. store. You can fill with anything. We filled them with shelves. So you're looking at the bottom, it's actually five little cubes yeah. that make the bottom. Can we, can we just go back to the, the bonding thing? Because it's, you want, what is it called exactly? So we'll know what to get. It's well done 16. Well done and 16. And it's a gel. It's but a you gel. have to be careful because okay. if you drip it, it will burn your acrylic. Oh. Yes, it'll actually put a hole through your acrylic. Oh, yeah. So you have to be really right, careful. I'm going to get into this because when, when I do stuff like this, even when I, I haven't done this, but I don't know where to put stuff. Right. We're going to come time to put. Do you want to talk put, about that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I do because I look at that and I, I don't. I get all crossways and what goes where and how right. does this? I just did some pl pots in the front of my house. I know. And it didn't you told turn out me, very yeah. nice. So uh, yeah, it turned out nice. Let but me give was, you a little design 101. Okay. Okay. And part of putting this together, I also, you know, want to show you how I put the structure so that I can actually plant in here yeah. without soil. Okay. So now we waited for it to dry. It's nice and secure. Uh huh. We're turning it around. Around. And so what you do is you take lava rock and you wedge it throughout the bottom of your ocean and you make sure that it's just nice and tight so you can't move it. And then that creates planting pockets. So again, I taught you guys how to plant okay. in moss, right? Right. So then we're wedging this moss in. I'm even using my little handy tool there to make sure it's in every little crevice. And so as you put it in there, you're really just making a planting bed mm -hmm. for the special uh, plant. And a nice little touch is to add decorative sand along the base of your aquarium terrarium. And there you go, and now so you're gonna be ready to plant. I, I wanna lay those stones out and keeping in mind that that's gonna be where I'm planting. Right, see look, it can't, it doesn't move. Yeah, let right, him do right. it. Mark, okay. go over there and try yes. to I do have one. some special plants. Okay. Oops, did I drop you your my special funnel? Okay, let's okay. see. I would say start with your focal point. Pick something here that you love that you want it front well, and center. Well, I always want to go big first because then I think I want to step down rather than okay. go. And I think either this one is the bigger, I love the bigger one. one. Be so careful. Let Some, me... Do they have okay. any cactus things on them? So no. Be careful. You know, no? Good question because yeah. 
Actually, this one here is a cactus, uh -huh. but it has no spines. This is okay. an Echeveria, and this is it's called like Medusa's head. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like a spider Isn't or snakes. It cool? Oh, it's snakes. Okay. Or Medusa. it could look like something in the ocean. Now, where do you want to put it? You could lay it on its side, but wedge it into the... I would, um, would want to do it here, but I don't know if that's a... Go well, go let's for come it. on. Go You're not going to know until you do Sit. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's if thing. I fail at this, you guys, you're not going to fail. That's There's the great no such thing, though. So you can move it if you don't like where okay. it looks. I like doing okay. this. Now okay. what? Now what do you want to so do? So let's just go down the line because this I would see. A... Now I would pick for something like this because it's higher. I wouldn't want to block it up front. I'd want to tuck it in the back. Go for it. Good. Okay. And that's kind of nice yeah. too. Um, this is, is it, a man's way of thinking. I, no, because you're sense? you're softening the edges. Yeah. Whenever you're designing a landscape or a garden, you don't want to right. see the edges, so yeah. you put something to deflect. So I like that. How Although, about? But I look at these want, too, and these are all big. I think too, you need so. to deflect some yeah. other edges. Yeah. yeah. What okay. Are you do with that? I think. Okay. Let's. And this one's really cool. This one they called like a jade, like a green sure. jade. Sure. Sure. So it even has a Name. That's great. What I love about this the most is that I, I told Shirley, I do not have a green thumb. I kill any plant in my house. Hello, that's but with me. succulents, right. they actually kind of take care of themselves, right? They, they require very little maintenance. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's a, right. a good thing. And what is that little right. potion thing you have over there? That's just water, oh, right? That's what. Oh, let's talk about that while, while you're doing that. You know what's really cool, guys? Since this is a terrarium, it holds moisture in. Mm -hmm. Obviously, these are succulents, they don't need a lot of water. So I'm going to get in here. Once you mist and make the moss really nice and moist, it's going to stay that way for a while. So how so long, uh, when do you have to water it again? I would say check the moss, uh -huh. make sure that around the root it's nice and moist. Right. And if it isn't, have something pretty like this from the dollar store. Right. All right, yeah. hey. Uh, and then you can make it pretty and then you can do And that's all you have to do is squirt? Yeah, just squirt it, make it wet, and then put it in a room that's kind of like this, bright but never in direct light because what will happen is the glass or the acrylic will reflect the sun, it'll burn the succulents. I have